gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Mr. Du and science is my business. You are welcome to Mr. Du Science World. And today we are going to look at a continuation of what we did the last time, and that is a talk. And this time around we want to look at a rotational equilibrium. Rotational equilibrium. When can we talk about having a rotational equilibrium? We will have a rotational equilibrium if the total torque acting on a system is equal to zero. That means the net torque is equal to zero. Then we will have what? A rotational what? equilibrium. If it happens that it is a two dimension, then we expect that there should be a clockwise and a counterclockwise what? torque. And in that case, we will confidently say that what? Therefore, the system to be in a rotational equilibrium, then the total counter torque must be equal to the word the total clockwise torque. That means that what am I saying? All what I'm saying is that here we are dealing with the rotational equilibrium. So all that we are trying to say is here, our net torque is equal to zero. And if it happens to be in two dimension, then we expect that the sum of the top in a clockwise must be equal to the sum of torques in a counterclockwise. In a counterclockwise. Right. So once we are able to have this, then we can say that what the system is in what is in a, a rotational what equilibrium. It's in a rotational equilibrium. Let's try and apply these conditions in solving problem. So let's look at question number one. Let's try and see. Okay. So there is a question here that says. A 6.0 meters uniform beam of mass 32 kg is suspended horizontally by a hinge and a, a cable. A 93 kg object is connected to one end of the beam. What is the tension in the cable? So here, let's try and give a pictorial view of the question. Let's give a picture of what the question is asking us of. And let's see how we can then tackle the problem. So we can see that there is a hinge here. And from the hinge, we are having a beam attached here. Now, there is a tension from here to here. The tension is holding that. And now, this tension is at an angle of 48 degrees here. And we can see there is a mass or a mass here and that mass is 93 kg the distance between the point where the cable is to the fixed point the distance is given and that distance is given to be 4.0 meters 4.0 meters and we were told that the length of the beam in the question the length of the beam is 6 meters that is what we were told and now we want to find the tension in this cable 
To find the tension in this cable, what do we need to do? Remember that the cable tension that is in it, tension is also what? A force. It's a type of a force. So if a tension is a type of a force, then we can see that this tension is inclined at an angle of 48 degrees. So we need to find the perpendicular component of that one, of that force. And that is what we will need to do what? To solve the problem. So, if I have to draw a free body diagram for this problem, then we're going to have something like this, where we see that there is a tension here, and there is a mass which is 93 kg. Now this beam is having a weight that is the center of gravity will lie between the center of this beam. So we will have the beam at this point, and let's look at that this way. So this is the one, the weight of the beam. The weight of the beam in that way. If we've got the weight of the beam, we've gotten the mass that is hanging and the tension which is here. So we can easily now, this will be our free body diagram. Now where is our pivot or our axis of rotation? This is the axis of rotation. This is where we want to rotate this beam. We want to rotate it at this next point here. This point P. So how do we do this calculation? Well, we know that we need to apply the, what, the conditions for a rotational equilibrium. And we can see that here, there we, are, we can apply it to say that the net form is now going to be the what? The torque in a clockwise direction minus the torque in what? In a counterclockwise direction. And then we will need to find that torque there. But what is the net torque? We know the net torque must be equal to what? Zero. So if that is zero, let's go ahead and see how many forces or how many of the forces are in the world in a downward direction which is going to create that word clockwise movement or motion. That is the weight of the 93 kg and that of the, the weight of the beam. So we will say that that is going to be the weight of the load, the FGL plus FGB minus what? Minus the what? The, the, the time. Sorry, the tension. The tension there. Good. Now the tension is at an angle, so we need to resolve that because this is what? 48 degrees. So for me to do that, we will then do the substitution to say zero is now equals to the load is what? M, the load is mg, right? So it is mg, m is 90, and g is what? It's 9.8. But that is going to be 93 multiplied by 9.8. And now we need to multiply it by the distance. What is the distance? Sorry, so here is multiply by distance distance and the distance okay good so we multiply each of them by the distance so this is multiplied by the distance what is the distance for the weight the weight is here and that is from here to here which is what six meters so that is six meters plus the what the weight of the beam is mg Page. And what is the beam? The beam, according to the question, what is the weight? Let's look at the beam. The beam is 32 kg. So if it is 32 kg, then we are going to have 32 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by the distance. The whole beam is 6 meters. And we know the weight centered in the middle of the beam. Therefore, the distance there is going to be what? 3 meters. Minus the tension. 
The tension should be the perpendicular component of that. So that is going to be what? T sin what? Sin 48 degrees. Okay, and sin 48 multiplied by what? The distance from that tension there, and that is 4.0. So we're going to multiply that by 4.0. Multiply by 4.0. Okay. Let's take our calculator. Let's work out. Then we can find the what? The, the tension. We can find the tension. So we're going to have 93 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 6. And this is going to give us. That is 5468.4 plus, let's go ahead and do 32 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 3. And that is going to be as 940.8 minus, now we are going to have 4.0 multiplied by sine 48. And this is giving us 2.9726T. And what we are to look for is the T. So let's try and transpose that there. 2.9726T is now equals to 5468.4. Plus 940.8. And this is giving us 6409.2. Okay, so now what we need to find is the T from this point here. So we we'll divide through by the 2.9726. So our T is now equals to what is going to be? It's going to give us our 6409.2. Uh, divided by our 2.9726. Then T is now going to be 2156.09231, which we can just simply write it as T is now equals to 2.2 times 10 exponent 3. And what is the unit? Newtons. Because Tension is a force. And that is going to be the tension that will exist in what? In this cable. Alright, uh, let's look at question number two and let's see. Uh, question number two A 9.2 meter long beam has a mass of 89 kg. It is restrained by a cable attached to it. What is the tension in this cable when the beam supports 150 kg mass as shown? Right. So let's look at the picture of the problem that we are given. Let's look at the picture and then let's see how we can tackle the problem. Now we can see here is what we have and there is a beam here and this beam there is a mass that is attached here and there is a rope that is holding it at this point and this rope the angle there is 76 degrees and the beam is at an angle of 45 the beam the distance from the beam to the mass is given to be 8.0 meters and from the beam to the rope or the cable is 7.2 meters. Now we are told that the beam is
89 kg. Give me 89 kg. So 89 kg beam and the length of the beam is 2.9. The entire beam itself from here to that is given to me of uh, 9.2 meters. Right. So the mass is not actually hanging at the edge of the wall, of the beam. Right? And we are told that the mass is 150 kg. Now we need to solve this problem. So to solve this problem, what do we need to do? The first thing that we need to think of is to draw what? The free body diagram. To draw the free body diagram. And if you want to draw the free body diagram for this, then we can look at it from here. And see this is the axis of rotation. So there is what? There is a mass which is here. Right? So the mass will also be 45 degrees. Then we are having the weight which is the center of gravity for the load. So this is FG load and this is FG beam and that was the load 45. Okay. Now we know there is a rope or a cable which is at the side so there is a tension here. This would be the free body diagram that we are going to have. The free body diagram. So if this is the free body diagram, then let's try and see how we can solve the problem. We will apply the word rotational equilibrium conditions. And that is the, the top in the clockwise or let's say the next top must simply be equal to the torque in the clockwise minus the what? The torque in the counterclockwise. And then we need to solve. So what is going to be the torque here? Okay. We know this is zero. So we have zero here being equal to. There are two forces here. Each of them is at an angle of 45 degrees. Okay? So we need to find the perpendicular component of that. And that is going to be sine. So I know straight away from here that I am going to have mg, okay, sine, sine 45, multiplied by the distance for the beam. And the distance for the beam, if the entire beam is 9.2 okay then we're just going to do 9.2 divided by 2 and that is going to be 4.6 so this is going to be 4.6 meters so we multiply that by 4.6 okay let me use this and show the difference so 4.6 meters plus we are going to have the weight of the load and the weight of the load is now going to be um, G again and then we are also going to multiply that by sine 45 and multiply by the distance between the beam sorry between the one the load and the one and the point of rotation which is here and that is 8.0 so that is 8.0 we multiply that by 8.0 and we are going to say minus minus what minus the uh, counterclockwise and the counterclockwise is the tension there and that is also at an angle of 76 degrees so we are also going to look for the perpendicular component of that and that is also going to be sine so that is going to be the tension multiplied by sine 76 degrees multiplied by the distance and the distance between that to the, what, the axis of rotation is 7.2. So multiply by 7.2 meters. Okay. Now let's do the substitution. Zero is now equals to the mass of the weight, 
we were told that the weight is 89 kg. So that is 89 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine 45 multiplied by 4.6 plus the weight of the load is 150 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine 45 multiplied by 8.0 minus the tension multiplied by sine 76 multiplied by 7.2 meters okay, or 7.2 and now let's see what we are going to have so let's take our calculator let's do the work in a simple form and find what we are going to have at the end of the day All right Alright, so uh, let's do the calculation, take the calculator and let's see, so we have 89 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine 45, okay, multiplied by 4.6, so we multiply all that together and when we check that, we are going to have 2836.9973 plus let's work that out 150 150 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine 45 multiplied by 8.0 and we are having 8315.5757 minus what we have there is 7.2 multiplied by sine 76 and this is 6.98613 what we are looking for is the T, so we'll transpose that 6.98 6 6.9861 T is now equal to so we're going to add these two together and that is 2836.9973 plus 8315.5 5757 and we are getting 11152.573 and we're looking for t so we divide by 6.9861 and we are having 1596.3947 Newtons which is just simply going to be 1.6 multiplied by 10 exponent 3 newtons and this becomes the tension in the cable that becomes the tension in the cable please subscribe click the notification bell like share comment don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.